my family was Quaker, and she was the strongest Quaker, and they do meditation. So going inside to greet the light is greeting the light on the inside. With the eyes closed, in the dream, we have fully formed vision, sometimes vision with greater sense of color and even greater acuity than with the eyes open in the day. So this idea of going inside to greet the light is to go inside to greet the light that is within everyone. It was always the interest in light, because I was very interested in the light that unites the inside world, like the dreams at night. You know, where does the light come from in your dreams? <laughs> but it is light that unites the spiritual realm and the physical realm. So I wanted to use light. The problem is, when you go and take art courses, if you mix blue paint and yellow paint, you get green. But if you mix blue light and yellow light, you get white. You have to learn the spectrum. So this is why I took the psychology of perception, because I realized that if I were going to use light as a material to activate or um, work the medium of perception, I would have to know more about how we perceive and how we see. First of all, I want to say that light is a thing. People say, yes, it's a thing, but it, has, it exhibits wave behavior. True. But the fact is that a photon has mass, so that it is a thing. And I like to have it portrayed so we see it that way. But it's a lot like how we see light in the dream. Often light radiates off people, and you walk into a space and you feel the light in the space. And I just wanted to have in front of my physical eyes light like I could see in the dream. And so that was the idea of making this idea of thingness of light. I mean, generally we use light to reveal about other things. We light illuminate paintings, we illuminate sculpture. But I was not so much interested in what light was revealing as in the fact that light was the revelation itself. I feel that I'm using the material light, which I explained again is this material, to work or affect the medium of perception. So perception is my medium, and I'm using light to affect it. So for me, it has to do with this idea of journey and putting together the experience, which has to do with perception. And so same object of perception, very different experience. So I'm wanting to preserve the experience. That's why I'm doing this piece out here uh, in the American desert in a volcano. So I like this quality of your being in the stage set of geologic time. Looking at the Painted Desert where you see millions of years of erosion, you see the eruption of the volcano and you feel this geologic time to then experience celestial events in light. So I play the music of the spheres in light over time. You know, in the long term, I'm very optimistic, and I want to tell you, you can't be an artist unless you're an optimist. You might be a curmudgeon and have, you know, cranky exterior. It's always needed, and somehow males seem to need to take that on. But you have to be an optimist to be an art.